गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर सेवेंटीन वॉल्यूम इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वॉल्यूम एंड वी विल आल्सो लर्न हाउ कैन वी फाइंड आउट द वॉल्यूम ऑफ अ क्यूबॉयड एंड अ क्यूब एज वी नो दैट द टू डायमेंशनल फिगर हैविंग लेंथ एंड ब्रेंथ इज कॉल्ड प्लेन फिगर and three dimensional figure are said to be solid okay and we have so many solids around us they are books boxes etc so anything which occupy space is said to be a solid and in this chapter we will discuss two types of solid first is cuboid and the second one is cube so first we will see what is volume so what is volume students the space occupied by a thing whether it's a cube or cuboid so the space occupied by a thing is known as its volume koi bhi cheez jo space occupy karti hai use hum uska volume kehte hain theek hai and in this chapter we will learn to find out the volume of cuboid and cube so first we will see cuboid so what is cuboid students a three dimensional figure having length breadth and height is said to be a cuboid a three dimensional figure jisme length breadth aur height hota hai usse hum cuboid kehte hain it has six faces eight vertex and twelves as you can see here a cuboid is a rectangle that means its length is length breadth and height are not equal so what is the formula of volume of a cuboid so formula of volume of a cuboid is l into b into h okay now come to the next figure this is a cube as you can see here all sides are equal that means length is equal to breadth is equal to height so this type of figure is known as cube and it has six faces 12 faces and eight vertex okay so what is the formula as you can see here all the sides are equal length is equal to breadth breadth is equal to height so what is the formula of cube formula of cube is l into l into l because all sides are equal in a cube okay so now we will start the chapter it's a chapter number 17.1 exercise 17.1 so first we will see the formula of cuboid volume of cuboid volume volume of cuboid l into b into h height into breadth into h or volume of cube of cube is equal to l into l into l because all sides are equal or you can write l3 so these are the two formula that you have to keep in your mind volume of cuboid is equal to l into b into h and volume of cube is equal to l into l into l so only these two formula we will use here so let's start the question number 1 what is our question number 1 find the volume of the cuboid whose sides are l 10 cm breadth 7 cm and height is 5 cm here we have to find out volume it's a question number exercise 17.1 question number 1 a length is equal to 10 cm breadth is equal to 7 cm and h is equal to 5 cm so what is the formula of cuboid volume of cuboid of cuboid 
L into B into H is equal to 10 into 7 into 5. 70 into 5 is 350 centimeter cube. Okay, so this is the answer of our first question. 350 centimeter cube. Now we will see the next example. Suppose this one. Question number E. Length is 6 meter, breadth is 3 meter and height is 2 meter. So this is the same. You have to multiply 6 into 3 into 2 and in this way you will get your answer. We will take another example. It's a question number F because length is written in meter. Breadth and centimeter both are written in centimeter and length is given in meter. So what we will do here? Just see how we will solve it. If the measurement is not same, then we will convert it into same unit. Okay. It's a length is 2 meter. Breadth is 50 centimeter. And height is 40 centimeter. So as you can see here. All these three units are not same here. So what we will do first, we will convert this 2 meter into centimeter and then we will solve this problem. Okay, so length 2 meter, 2 meter is equal to 200 centimeter. So volume of a cuboid. L into B into H is equal to 200 into 50 into 40 is equal to this is the 40 and then 40 here cubic centimeter okay so this is our answer 4 lakh cubic centimeter now we will start next question find the volume of the cubes whose edges are as we know uh, uh, all sides of cubes are equal so the volume of cube is equal to l into l into l it's a question number two a volume of cube is equal to L into L into L is equal to what is our question 5 meter 5 into 5 into 5 5 5s are 25 5s are 125 cubic centimeter square is our answer okay now we will take another example suppose it's number G 3 meter 40 centimeter so 3 meter 40 centimeter we will convert this centimeter into meter so it's a 0.4 meter so 3.4 meter is the edges of a, a cube so how we will find out its volume 3.4 into 3.4 into 3.4 we will multiply this by three times and in this way we will get our answer now come to the next question suppose it's a number i 6 whole 1 by 3 meter so what you have to do first you have to convert this mixed fraction in your improper 6 3 is 18, 19 by 3 into 19 by 3 into 19 by 3. And then you will get your answer. Killer children. So in this way, you have to solve all the questions of question number 1 and 2. Now come to the next question. A rectangle tank has the dimension 6 meter into 4.5 meter into 3 meter. Find the volume of the tank. So a rectangle has tank has the dimension of 6 into 4.5 into 3 meter that means length to breadth to height so we have to find the volume so volume of the tank is equal to this is question number 3 volume of the tank of the tank is equal to 6 into 4.5 into 3 so what is our answer it's a this is 81 
cubic meter is our answer. So volume of the tank is 81 cubic meter. Clear students? Now we will take another question. Suppose it's uh, number 4. A cubit is 20 meter long, 15 meter broad and 8 meter height. Find the volume in cubic meter and then in cubic centimeter. First we have to find the volume in cubic meter and then we have to convert that cubic meter in centimeter. So we will find out the volume of cubit in cubic meter because length and breadth and height is given in meter. So it's a question number 4. Volume of cuboid is equal to 20 into 15 into 8. And when we multiply all this, what is our answer? 2400 cubic meter is our answer. And now we have to convert this 2400 cubic meter into cubic centimeter so this is one answer volume in cubic meter is 24 cubic meter okay now we have to convert this cubic meter into cubic centimeter so 2400 cubic meter is equal to we have to convert this cubic meter that means we have to multiply this uh, 2400 with 100 into 100 into 100. Okay, children. And in this way, we will get our answer. So, what is our answer? It will be 80. Cubic centimeter. So, this is our answer. Okay, students. In this way you have to solve all we will take another one more questions and uh, we will take this question number nine find the volume of a cube of side 12 centimeter in cubic meter so a uh, volume of side we have to find the volume of a cube whose side is 12 centimeter so first we will find the volume in cubic centimeter and then we will convert this centimeter in cubic meter. Okay. Let's see how we will solve it. It's a question number 9. Side is equal to 12 centimeter. So volume of a cube. twelve into 12 into 12. So it will be 1, 7, 2, 8 cubic meter now students we have to convert this sorry this is centimeter cubic centimeter we have to convert this centimeter into cubic meter because your question is find the volume of a cube of side 12 centimeter in cubic meter and here we got the answer in cubic centimeter that means we have to convert this cubic centimeter into cubic meter so, 1728 cubic centimeter is equal to 1728 divided by 300, 100, 100, 100. This is cubic meter. So, how many zeros are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means we have to put the decimal after 6 digits. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8. 2, 7, 1, 0, 0. So, 0.001728 cubic meter is our answer. Clear students? Agar aapko cubic centimeter ko cubic meter mein convert karna hai, to hum usi divide karenge 100, 100, 100, 3 times 100 se. Jaise hum agar 1 centimeter ko meter mein convert karte, to 100 se divide karte hai. उसी तरह से क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर को क्यूबिक मीटर में बदलना है तो हमें 100 into 100 into 100 that means इतने से डिवाइड करना होगा ठीक है और अगर हमें मीटर को सेंटीमीटर में कन्वर्ट करना है क्यूबिक मीटर को क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर से तो हम इस तरह से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे क्लियर नाउ 
uh, what is your class work and homework uh, just see it question number one and two is your class work solve these two questions in your math notebook and rest of the questions are your homework so this chapter is completed if you have any doubt in you can ask in your whatsapp group